Tim really likes two things, food and music festivals. So he wants to combine the two of them together and start a food truck business that runs at these festivals and corporate events. Having developed a strategic plan on the back of a napkin, he needs to start planning to bring his dream to life. But before he gets excited and buys a truck, plans the menu and starts selling his food, he needs to know some important things, like, will it make money? The most important stakeholder to start with is Tim, and he needs to figure out if it's a viable business opportunity. So he needs an operational plan that looks at the day-to-day -day situation, and part of this will require developing a budget. What's he going to sell? And how many burgers, drinks and salads will be sold? Don't forget to factor in the expected prices as well. This is going to help determine the gross profit and ensure you can cover all the expenses. What does it cost to get access to a festival site? How many employees are needed and what is the hourly rate? How much cash will it take to get everything up and running? Imagine starting this business without having the relevant information. You'd be flying blind and taking an enormous risk. If prices are too low or sales volumes don't match expectations, how are you going to pay for the food, the truck, the employees? A large number of estimates and assumptions are required to create an operational plan that will help get this business going. A key component will be the budget. So think of the budget as the financial plan that puts all the key information into one location. Of course, the first draft might not be accurate, but it starts the evaluation process and allows the strategy to be refined. This is a key component of both planning the business and then controlling it once it's up and running. If we write a list of everything Tim's going to need, we can start determining which specific budgets are going to be needed. Starting with the sales budget, we can estimate total volume of sales for each item and the price to be charged. This will be followed by a production budget. You can't sell food if you don't have it ready to go. This in turn informs the purchases required for ingredients and condiments, which will be captured in our direct materials cost budget. Staffing costs will be significant, so determining how many people are required and the shifts they will work will be plugged into the labour costs budget. Overheads also need to be considered, things like the running costs of the truck, advertising and marketing, and fees and charges to participate at festivals. Budgets aren't the perfect solution to everything. An important limiting factor is what you plan for may not be realistic or achievable. Tim's desire to sell 1,000 burgers at an event may not be possible if there aren't enough customers. On the flip side, there might be demand for 1,500 burgers, but the truck may only have capacity to make 1,200 in the time frame. So don't forget to test your budget against reality.